don't want to alarm anybody, but it's starting to go a little bit wrong. We've not won in five games in the league. We've fallen out of the playoff spots. And, uh, yeah, I'm not panicking. You're panicking. Hello and welcome to part 48 of It's Coming Home. I'm Kev and coming up on today's episode, we're at home against Chippenham and away against Mansfield, both in the National League. Chippenham are a team that I feel like they may not exist. At the rock bottom of the league, we should beat them. Mansfield, I have heard of them. I've been there. You can buy peas from a van in Mansfield. I've uh, I've not done it because I'm ridiculous, but I've seen it and I didn't understand it. But... That's that's who we're playing. This is who we've played, though. And looking at that, I mean, the pretty colours in October looks like an OK month. But when you factor in that it's mostly cup games, so we have already beaten Mansfield in the FA Trophy, which is significant. We play them in, a, in the same fixture now and hopefully can do the same job again. The FA Cup, we beat FC United. We've made it through to Stockport in the first round proper of that. We laboured a little bit to beat Scarborough in the next round of the FA Trophy. And the significant thing is what's been going on in the league. So we lost against Grimsby, which you saw in the last episode. We then also lost against Harrogate. We then drew at home, nil-nil, against Morecambe and Kidderminster. Then we had some cup games. Then a 1-1 away draw against Salford. So we've not won a league game for five games, and this is what the table looks like. And we need to get back to winning ways. I guess Chippenham is probably the way to do that. Worryingly, Mick Powell hasn't scored in forever. In the league, anyway. In the league, Mick. Goodness me. It's been a long time. So when was the last league game he scored? Ches Chesterfield? So before that, he hasn't scored in the league since before the last episode. Everything's suddenly looking a little bit different in the world of Mick Powell. And he needs to sort himself out again today. We've already talked about before how he loves the cameras. He needs to show me that love today and put in a performance. So this is the team we're going out there with. We've got Siva two in goal, a back four of Weber, Proctor, Bajrami and Daly Campbell. I'm not sure if you've met Vontae Daly Campbell yet. We brought him in late in the summer. He's a very similar standard to Tanner and Hickman. He got He's had a run in the team based on the fact that he asked for it because he wasn't playing and he's sim same star, star rating. So I'll play him until he stops whining about it is my plan with him. O'Brien is going to be at the base of our midfield today just to find a way to get him into the team. He played quite well in his last game when Lerick Fernandez was suspended. Fernandez obviously has to come back into the team, but I don't want to drop Brian or O'Brien altogether. So Shane Phillips can drop down to the bench for today. So Fernandez, Wolf, and O'Brien are the midfield. And then Tyler, Powell and Stanley as our front three who just haven't really been performing recently. Tyler, probably the pick of the bunch in the last half dozen games. So let's get into the match. Keep reminding ourselves that Chippenham are not very good and cross everything that today's the day we start to turn the form around and recapture some of that form that we had earlier on in the season. So we need an assertive, yeah, an assertive carry on the way you did in that last game. So the last game in the Cup, we were pretty good. That was the last game, wasn't it? A little bit of advance warning. You'll have noticed it's not even advance warning. You'll have already noticed by this point of the episode. This is probably going to be the most jump cutty, chopped up episode of It's Coming Home that we've had so far. My cough is 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 hideous at the moment. I'm not poorly anymore. Um, I mean, the last remnant. If you've already seen non to Legend today, you already know about this. Lewis Tyler has just scored. And I know some of you don't care. But those of you who don't care or have already heard it can just watch the football for a minute because we've just scored a goal and it's going well. Um, but I've started taking a cough medicine. It's an expectorant, which basically makes me cough more to get it all out. And in retrospect, really bad idea. I am i don't think I've had more than like a 40 second period without coughing. And when you're trying to record YouTube videos, that's a bit of a problem. Especially when they're ones where I'm commentating over something that's happening. It will jump around a little bit. It can't really be... The, the only other alternative would be to not record at all, which seems silly when I don't feel even a little bit poorly. I've just got an irritating cough. So, and those of you who are worried and trying to send me to the doctor, I have been several times. Um, they, they've given me several courses of antibiotics. They've given me an inhaler. They've suggested this. So, I'm, the, I'm not dying. I've just got a cough. Mick Powell just scored, so that's good. Let's have a look at the replay then. So Cross came over from Stanley. It fell to Fernandez. Fernandez to Tyler. Tyler into Powell. And that's his first goal in the league for a long, 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 long time. And interestingly, saying long held the cough at bay there. Perhaps 
Imagine if that's the cure. I wander around the rest of my life. Oh, oh, it's coming. Long, long. Oh, problem solved. It must, it must do so Long. It must do I can't do that. That's even worse than coughing, surely. It must do something to my throat to make it less likely for a cough to explode out. I don't know. Perhaps it forces the mucus back. I love saying mucus. Forces the mucus back in a different direction. Long. I'm not going to do it. I will, I will start coughing again. But at the moment, ridiculously... Saying long is working. And that, I just need to find a way to weave it, incorporate it into the commentary, and you won't even notice I'm doing it. That's the plan. We're going to switch to a long ball system. Oh, look, we're playing non-league. I bet they're doing long ball, aren't they? I, I don't understand why this is working. They've just hit the crossbar. I feel, is there any fans in the in the stadium today? It's It's been a long time since since there's been this few people here. Cross comes in from Weber, and it was a long cross. I, I don't understand why that's working. This is this is fascinating. I feel like a science science experiment. Bajrami plays it forward towards. He played a long ball forward towards Wolf, and now another long pass. I can't keep doing it. Oh, I've got a cough. I've got a cough. Long range goal though. I don't need to. Oh, Lewis O'Brien. Is it is it Els that do it? No, it's not Els. Oh, no amount of saying long would have kept that explosion in. Oh, my word. So, O'Brien brings the ball down beautifully. Lovely effort from long range. That one, I didn't need that one. That was just a but. That was a waste, really. That's why O'Brien's in the team, though. You don't see that from Phillips or Rossiter. Mainly because it's not what that player is in the team to do. O'Brien just seems to ignore his instructions and hover around on the edge of the area, tucking the ball into the back of the net at will because he's a hero. Um, is it nearly? It is nearly half time. 3 0 up. I mean, this is kind of what. I won't say this is what I was expecting. That's what O'Brien's supposed to do, and he does it beautifully. This isn't what I was expecting, but this is certainly how how the game should have gone against a team like Chippenham. And hopefully, I've been I've been managing I've been managing Chaton too long in non-league to legend. I just called them Chippenham. Um, it's because I'm learning French, so you know my name is Chapman. I can't now pretend that I'm learning French and don't know how to say a ch anymore. Ah. Oh. This this cough medicine's got alcohol in. I, I don't drink, so I apologise. I'm I'm hammered, basically. Absolutely smashed off my niblets. Right, let's um I don't know what buttons to press anymore. Let's just let's just have a let's just have a nice time in the second half. That's that's probably that's probably our best bet. Where are the other teams that we were worrying about? It was Billericke who are below us, Chester who are below us. It's weird, the teams that were supposed to be any good. Not doing so good, which is a bit of a worry because we were one of those teams that were supposed to be doing quite well. So that suggests the bookies are just idiots and we built our entire plan for this season around the fact they thought we were going to get promoted when they've proven themselves to be buffoons who don't understand how football works. So actually, perhaps we are just uh, upper mid-table, just outside the playoffs team again like we were last year because let's face it, we haven't really changed much of the personnel from last season. So... Do, should we really expect the team to be that much better? It's roughly where it was last year because it's roughly the same team we had last year. So I guess that feels about right. Let's make a couple of changes. We are going to take Connor Stanley off. We've got Tilly on the bench who can come on for him. And we'll bring Phillips on for Wolf because then we can push O'Brien up into midfield and switch him over to that left-hand side where he likes to hang out. Mind you, so does Fernandez. But then Fernandez is our best player, regular starter. He's the one who should play out of position, even though O'Brien, theoretically, more experienced, but less experienced for us. So it, it makes sense in my head. Um, we don't really need to make a final change. We've got a right back and a centre back on the bench. All those positions are doing fine. Weber, you could argue Weber could could come off, but doesn't really need to. We'll just we'll just see out the game. A nice comfortable three nil. And then does anyone remember who we're playing next? I, I certainly don't. Man, no, Mansfield. We're playing Mansfield. We could we could properly solidify a bit of a playoff position if we can beat Mansfield because they're the team hot on our tails chasing us down. So let's give that a little bit of passion and go and beat Mansfield. Right, just the one change for the Mansfield game then. We've brought Shane Phillips back into the defensive midfield position, pushing O'Brien further forward to play alongside Fernandez. So Matty Wolf can drop down to the bench. And Matty, you've not been dropped. You're being rested. 93% conditioning. Um, he's, he's being dropped. We're trying, this might be the midfield three that we go for. Um, but we don't need to tell Matty that at the moment. It's the perfect opportunity to switch some things around. 
in those areas and just see. I want Lewis O'Brien in my midfield on a regular basis. And I remember saying that last season as well. He's a player who always plays well. I like having a box-to-box midfielder in the team. We saw in the last game that he's a goal threat and he gets he gets about a bit. He's everywhere. It's just I've never... I, I can't find a place to put him in on a regular basis. He doesn't really fit at the base of the midfield. And we've got Shane Phillips and Jordan Rossiter who can both do a better job of that in that position. So it, I, I can't justify playing him there all the time. But if you go into the main midfield, Fernandez obviously has to start. Matty Wolf never lets us down either. But Wolf and Fernandez are very similar kinds of players. So I guess what I need to do is is pick one of them and play them with O'Brien. The only problem is I'm obviously going to pick Fernandez because he's one of our own and Matty Wolf is going to is going to kind of become the forgotten man, which is a bit of a shame. But then we've seen it happen to the likes of Ben Cottrell over recent seasons who is somewhere around he's even still at the club I don't even know if he's still here um he's he's become the new Jake Wright um we've just conceded a goal that looked like an own goal to me but it's gone down as a goal for somebody called Bilbo which is I mean that's a name it's a it's a great name um not very long though is it I, I, I didn't even need to cough that I need to stop I need to behave myself I need some alcohol free cough medicine that's probably for the best Daly, Daly Campbell, is that his name? I don't even remember. Uh, Mick Powell is in, but not not really in enough. Um, and there's Phillips, back to Bajrami. And it is Daly Campbell. See, I know my players. Daly Campbell gets it again. That's enough now. I've seen you with the ball. We don't need to keep giving it to you. I know your name. Fernandez now. Fernandez plays it out to Weber. Weber's got Tyler ahead of him. Tyler crosses to Powell, but it can't beat the Mansfield defender. And uh, they come away with the ball again. And it's a big, big ball over the top, actually. And Civita, that was terrible. That was just awful from Civita. He didn't know whether he was coming or going. Didn't commit to anything. And just kind of stood there in no man's land, letting them run past him. This was some of the worst goalkeeping I've ever seen. Uh, Either keep coming or stay back in the first place. Oh, look, he's dived there. As long as he did a dive, he looks like a goalkeeper. Humphreys is sat there on the bench. I think it might be time to give him a run in the team again. It got to about this point last season and Humphreys made it into the team at the expense of Civita. But then as the season went on, we brought Civita back in again. But I think I think we're approaching another run of games for Humphreys because we've now fallen down to ninth place as it stands. Billericke and Chester either side of us. We're, we're supposed to be the three best teams in this division. What is going on in the National League this season? Civita decides to try and save his place in the team by making a save. I feel that that may be too little, too late from Civita because he's been terrible today. And he does get some criticism from the comments section from time to time for only being five foot eight. I don't mind him being five foot eight. One of my favourite goalkeepers ever for Posh was relatively short. Probably not, probably not five foot eight. Mark Tyler, if you've ever heard of him, which you won't unless you're a lower league football fan. But he's played like 450 games for Posh. He's probably no more than about... I mean, he might be about 5'8", five, 5'9". Five, he's a tiny little man. I tower over him. And he's a great goalkeeper. So it's not the fact that Sivert is short that's the problem. It's the fact that he was rubbish there. And we've got Humphreys. Is Humphreys tall? Because obviously being tall is an advantage for a goalkeeper, I hear. Let's be aggressive. I expect to see more. How tall is Toby Humphreys? Why can't we look at him? Uh, tactics. Humphreys is six feet tall. So he's a bit he's a little on the short side as well, as far as I'm concerned. Um right, let's we need to we need to sort a lot. We've had sixty four percent possession, but half the shots they've had, they've basically sat back, hit us on the break, and been better than us when they've had opportunities. We're all right beating Chippenham, but we play against someone similar sort of standard to us and we crumble and that's been how things have been going for us at the moment. I'm a little bit worried as we enter FA Cup season that We've lost our ability to beat teams better than us. So that's not going to bode well for the cup run that we need once again to just keep the club afloat. Because if we can't have a cup run, we're going to have to sell Stanley or who else were we getting offers for? We don't ever get any offers. Uh, Leric Fernandez is the other one. But at 3 0 down now, yikes. Oh, this is This is getting upsetting now. Can we blame that one on Civita? I think we can blame that one on Civita. I think in situations like this, it's important to have a scapegoat. And I think in this situation, 
it is definitely Adam Civita. So let's take him off and just make it really clear to everyone involved that it's his fault. And now the disaster has happened. We talked about this in yesterday's video. What would we do in this scenario? That's all we can do at the moment. But if that's a real injury to Mick Powell, then it's season over because we don't have another striker. Terence Sadie, we had him at St Albans, if I recall, in non league to legend this year. Um, let's bring Wolf on as well for Fernandez. Uh, I mean, the, the game is already gone and all we're thinking about now is what's up with Mick Powell. Because if he's properly injured... I might as well just resign if he's injured because I don't know what to do. But Humphrey's been much better in goal since he came on. He's our new goalkeeper. So at least we made that decision today. And can we just have the end of the game now so we can see what's wrong with Mick Powell? That's all we really care about. Tyler plays it forward towards Tilly. Tilly can't get anywhere near it. And hopefully that's the end of the game. But no, apparently it needs to carry on dragging itself out. No, there we go. Excellent stuff. We were absolutely awful aggressive i'm not happy but i'll be i'll cheer up a lot if if mick powell's just taken a slight knock if he's out for a month though we've never had to we've never had to do that before we've never had to be without him for any length of time so let's see what the damage is to mick powell well, thank goodness for that Wowzers. Right, we will be back obviously tomorrow night as usual, and in that episode we will be playing we will be playing Chester because they are one of the other big teams. In fact, Boreham Wood are top of the league at the moment, so Boreham Wood and Chester in tomorrow's episode feels like an excellent plan. If you've enjoyed that, please make sure you leave a nice big thumbs up on there for me. Subscribe to the channel for daily football manager videos, and thank you very much for watching.